Uh, shall we move into the rant session, or one of our favorite sessions? Yeah, let's do the rant, mate. Let's do the rant. Okay. All right. So for today's rant, uh, Michael and I were talking, and, and we get this all the time, right, Michael? This is a very common thing. So we get asked, and often I get asked this also by clients where I'm managing their accounts, and I totally understand where they're coming from. But they ask, what is working for your other accounts right now? You know, what's 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 best? Do you usually see Pmax working? Are people moving away from Pmax? They want these sort of uh, black and white answers and these sort of all encompassing North Star answers to say, you know, should we just abandon this campaign type? Or, you know, I'm hearing a lot about demand gen. Are you seeing that with all of your clients or most of your clients like us that demand gen mm -hmm. is a good investment for them? You can imagine, Michael, it's it's. We understand the logic behind the question. You want to stay competitive. You appreciate our insight and know that we're working with similar or other accounts and you want to make sure that you're, you're, you know, ahead of the curve. But Michael, what would you say immediately in your mind is the problem with a question like that? Well, I'll even just say before, like, I think it's a valid question to ask because they're yeah. the challenge a lot of people have, even when they're, um, they've got a lot of understanding about advertising and they're working either in-house or running the account they've been running it themselves is their only data point, like main data point is that business. So they don't know, is it going well because I'm amazing? Is it going well just because the industry is it going well for no reason? Is it going poorly because of me? Is it going poorly because of the industry is it going poorly because Google ads isn't the right channel. So they don't know. So they're trying to like get pinpoints to go like, what are other people doing? Because you and I, we work with about 30 clients. You work with the amount of clients you work with. And even that, and there's agencies who work with hundreds of clients. So like there are more data points to kind of see a pattern that flows through, not only in the client's industry, but just like an e-commerce or lead generation in general. So I think it's like, just from a place of actually perspective, it's probably better that they ask us that than just come up with their own assumptions. Yeah. The problem is, is every business is different and what, as we we're saying in that the section about like the hot tip is you've got to really come back to your own data. You can't just go like, Oh, what's the ultimate strategy for e-commerce right now? Like, it's not like that. That's like what marketers say, like really bad agencies. Like we've got this process that like makes every client like scale their ROAS by three and increase their revenue by two and three months, like type of thing. It's really I get where it's coming from, but sometimes it's dangerous because it's trying to get like, okay, well, if they're doing it, let's us just do that. Just thinking it's like a something you just can turn on and off and then things are going to grow. It really comes down to the expertise of the specialist working on the account and them having picking up patterns in other campaigns going, hey, we should apply this rather than going, what's everyone else doing? Right. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it's it's a gateway drug question. I don't know if this applies internationally, if that makes sense. It's like we usually say, you know, certain things are gateways to something else. And I feel yeah. like that question is kind of a gateway drug where we start saying, you know, we're looking for these these one these very simple answers to complex problems, right? Where we go, yeah, actually for most of my accounts, and this for me, sometimes I'll say, you know, let's say it's standard shopping. You know, are you seeing that uh, for your e-commerce clients that standard shopping is the way to go? And it, even if that's the case, I would really hesitate to go, yeah, man, definitely. So we should just do that too, because it's working <laughs> for all of them. No, no, no. I'm going to use the data I have for you guys yeah. to to inform my strategies and that's going to inform our, our decision making. So yeah, just because it works for most doesn't mean it's going to work for you. I think that's really important. This is true mm -hmm. of diet. This is true of exercises, true of relationships, just because most people uh, are able to get something to work one way does not mean that it applies to you. Is it good to know those things? Sure. But know yeah. that in asking that question, it's kind of like this. If you have a sophisticated advertiser like Michael or I, we're going to hesitate to answer that with just this simple. And we're going to go, yeah, we are, you know, seeing yeah. that Pmax is working when it's feed only, as opposed to a full bill, you know, it tends to work better from an efficiency standpoint, whatever, but with you guys, what we have seen is X, Y, Z, you know, it feed yeah. only goes really well with the, these products for these other guys, we've got to control the bids at the ad group level for these certain product categories. So for that reason, you know, we have found through te careful testing, they need to be in standard shopping. So again, yeah, that general advice might apply to some of your products, maybe not all of them. So it's nuanced. Again, we understand why the question is there and it's a valid question, but don't be surprised if your expert that you're asking this question to doesn't come back with maybe a more nuanced or carefully answered 
way of yeah. positioning, yeah, and answering that question. Every yeah. business is different and the data you have is different. And once again, you can't just get like, what's the checklist? What are other people doing? And it's good to know that. And we, I've had that as well, big clients being like, hey, you know, this other agency had a quick look like they're friends of ours and they mentioned this thing, you should do this. I'm like, bro, if you did that, this would be the direct consequence. And like, oh, okay, I'm like that. What, what, like, I get what this person's saying. They're like, oh, just saying stuff. It's like, but they haven't, they don't know your data and business and the consequence. And as soon as I said, like, if we did that, yes, we could, it sounds good. But the consequences, it's like, oh, it's like really important to really understand consequences towards recommendations and strategy. You can't just go, let's try it out. There'll always be a consequence, positive or negative. Yeah. And sometimes I'm, I'm kind of surprised or shocked that they're asking me this because I try not to take it personal, like, oh, they don't trust that if if it was going to be working well, that I wouldn't have tried it. It's yeah. just I think that it's it's a typical marketer trying to stay on the razor's edge of innovation. And they would rather ask and take the risk of saying like, oh, you already thought of that. We just want to make sure as opposed to not saying it. And then maybe you hadn't heard of that or something like that. So I think it's well intentioned. I'm not saying it's bad to ask these questions, but again, just, um, you know, you sh I, th I think you should have the expectation that it's going to be a nuanced answer and it should be, yeah. uh, you know, a well thought out answer. It shouldn't just be, yeah, we should, you know, you're right. I didn't even think about that. We should just be doing feed only. You don't yeah. want that response from your advertiser, right? Uh, that's probably not a good sign. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think it's well intentioned, uh, you know, and as an advertiser, try not to take it personally. I don't think it means that the client doesn't trust your opinions or that you haven't thought about it. I think they're just trying to do what they do best, which is to stay on the razor's edge and make sure that we're always pushing. Awesome. Well, mate, yeah. I reckon we're hitting our time now. So yes, let's wrap up. <laughs>